All right, then today we are going to look at uh, doing double doors, uh, both rotating the opposite direction, if that makes any sense, uh, as double doors tend to do, double doors like in corridors, etc. Um, all right, let's do this. All right, so uh, leaving off where we left in the last tutorial, uh, doing the single door. If you remember the single door, when you go up to it, you press F, it rotates open. But what if you want double doors like you'd get in a uh, corridor, like in hospitals and whatever? We'll just slide out of the way. And now we're going to do double doors. All right, so let's move swiftly forward. Let's create a blueprint class, and we're going to call we're going to make it an actor, and we're going to call it BP underscore uh, door double because the other one was called door single. I want a capital D there. Door double. All right, so let's open that up. Oops, it's opened on the wrong monitor. Let's bring it over here. Right, so there it is. We're going to add ourselves a static mesh. Static mesh. And we're going to call this door R. Door R for right. And then we're going to select the default scene again, or just deselect everything. And make another static mesh called door L for the left door. Um, while we're here, we will bring a um, collision box, or type in box collision, and I'm going to call this trigger. Oops, I made a mistake. I've it's it's linked to the door. We want to unattach that by dragging it up to default root scene and clicking attach. So make sure they're all kind of in line. They don't need to be parented to each other. And while we're here as well, we will do a text render. We'll use that later on, and we'll call this. Oh, I did it again. Look. Uh, player tip, I always call it player tip. And again, I have to drag this up and attach to get it All right. So that's done. So let's get these meshes in right. Door right. Right, we're gonna go over to the static mesh box and click door. And we get SM door. You have to have the starter, um, starter, what's it called? The starter stuff enabled or inserted into the folder when you start the, your file start the content that's the one right so there is a door obviously it's the right door oh I tell you what else we can do is bring in an arrow so we know which way we're looking at oh, I don't it again Let's just drag it up in there and then attach right so this is the forward then right so that door is on the right which is fine but it's the wrong way around so let's rotate it uh, on the rotation on the Z we're gonna do 180 Oh, I had the arrow selected, sorry. Undo that and select the door on the right again. And we're gonna click 180 in the Z rotation. All right, so now we wanna move this across. Let me change my snapping grid to say 10. So that this side is in line with this part here in the middle. So right there, lovely. So now the location should be on the y-axis minus 90, which is fine. So that is where the handle should be. Let's go to door L, do the same, get the static mesh, door. And this one needs to be dragged over 90 to 90 on the y. So this one is moved negative 90, this one is 90. So the doors are in the, uh, the handles are in the middle where they should be. That's our set of double doors. Let's um, move this box up. Let's make your box big enough so that um, your player will uh, interact where you know the space. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm in my own world, right? Right, yeah, that'll be big enough. So when your your player walks into that box, they'll be able to interact with the doors. That's super. Let me just get that player tip for now and drag it up the top. Put it about, about there. Um, I'm gonna center align the player tip. I'm gonna, gonna call it um, press F. Right, so that's done. Right, what we need to do now is we need our open positions. So we need to make some variables. Let's create a variable for the uh, door L, which is obviously the left door. And we're gonna call this door 
L um, open position or oh, something that makes sense along those lines I'm going to change it to a rotator compile and then we're going to do again for the right door so door R open oops rotation oh what have I done there the hell okay door rotation Oh, position I call that okay we'll, we'll just change that to rotation that makes more sense okay so compile that one now we need to get those positions so for the door L if we go if you press E and then rotate the doors rotate it that way it's negative 90 you can uh, you can't see it now but it's, it's up here negative 90 forget the old one we don't the double old one we won't bother with that so it's negative 90 on the z axis so dot l open position on the z is negative 90 and dot r is obviously going to be positive 90 yes it is actually no look at that it's 270 degrees so check that out all right so door R because we rotated it to get it into that position obviously it wound up being 270 degrees right compile in the event graph let's get rid of that and select our trigger box well in fact we'll do that later what we we'll do we start off with the timeline right so time line I spelled that wrong add timeline I'm gonna call this door open that'll do door open and double click it and we'll open it up and uh, we're gonna put it uh, for two seconds and we're gonna create a vector and this one is gonna be a door R and we only using the Z axis we can lock off the X and Y and we can add a key to Z and go zero zero and then we can add another key to Z and two and um, is it negative 90 door what is this door R door R yes door R so that was actually 270 oops 270 all right so let's make another vector and call this door L lock off the X and Y and on the Z add a key and then make it zero zero add another key and make it uh, zero and then oh yeah um, let's let me ignore that uh, 90 why isn't this on zero I can't I've already got one on zero hmm let's Time zero, value zero. There you go. Oh, that's not right, is it? What's going on yeah What have I done? Top and bottom. This one should be. Oh, sorry, two. <laughs> what am I like, huh? What am I like? Right. All right then. So outside of here, we're gonna update. In fact, we're gonna drag our door open rotation and we're going to set it this is the door R so we're going to update that with the R we can't obviously put that in we, what we're going to need to do here if I delete that um, hello. I messed up a little bit I just realized I should not have used rotators if we just go up here switch this to vector change and it's okay, it keeps the values there. And we do the same for this one. Vector. All right, okay, back here. Okay, now we can put up right into that. And then, uh, in fact, we just drag door. Oh, actually, that's the, that's the L. So this is the door right, right here. 
In fact, we kill that one off, put the door right into that one, door L into that one. <laughs> um, we kill that one off, we put this right right around so it, does it. So it makes more sense logically. We're going to connect that one to that one, so we're going to do door R, it's going to rotate, then door L is going to rotate. Now, although they're going to do them in uh, technically as separately, one after the other, it's going to be so quick that you won't even see it. It'll be timed exactly the same. So we'll see that in a sec. What we're going to do as well, we're going to bring out door R. So that's the first one we do. And we're going to set. Are we going to set? We're going to set relative did, 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 rotation. All right. So we're going to put that there and connect that one up to there. We're going to put that down to there and get another one. Set relative rotation. Station. Yeah. 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 And this uh, is going to be door L. So we're going to plug that into the target. What we're going to need to do here, though, is actually make some more room. We need to split these struct pins and split those ones. Split those ones and split those ones. So they're all split. Happy days, and we just want the Z axis bump and the Z axis bump. Okay, uh, let's just uh, bring, let's just select our trigger, scroll down the bottom, get a begin overlap. Oops, dragging it. Right, let's just use this for now just to test it out. Let's compile and press play. I didn't bring the door in. Why do I keep doing this? I right, bring the doors in. They're facing the wrong way because the arrow. Oops. Oh man. All right, the arrow is on this side, facing that way. So we want to E, and then go 180 degrees, and then press play. We go into the thing, and you can see they're all kinds of wrong. Reason being is because in our timeline. Well, let me show you here. In the if we go to the viewport, right. Because of this this one here, we rotated to a hundred uh, was it 180 degrees before we even began manipulating the rotator in the code. So what we need to do here is go up here. Door R starts at 180 degrees. So with this one on zero, we need to start that at 180 degrees. And let's press play and see what we got. Okay, halfway there, it's just this door on the left is going the wrong way because I must have made a mistake uh, in the viewport. Uh, door R, if we rotate it that way. Oh, look at that. It's negative 90. And I set it to door L. I set it to... It's not even on there. Why are they, why are they zeros? Well, that's strange. Uh, I set it to 90. Let's go back to the thing. So this right here, I set it to 90, but it should be negative 90. Compile. Press play. And there you go. You got your doors. All right, so let's change the code. Where is it? Event graph. All right, let's kill that. And what we'll do here instead is enable input and we want the player controller so get player controller uh, slide it under there where i like to put it let's get the trigger again scroll down end overlap put him up there and then we're going to disable input and plug him in to there as well just realized they plugged them in the wrong ones. They're supposed to go to play controller. Not the target, play controller. All right, so there we have enabled and disabled the input depending on whether we're entering or extra in the player box, uh, the trigger box, my, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we want to bring up the text that's toggle visibility of the player tip. Uh, right, put him in there. Uh, and 
when we leave the box we want to disable the player tip so that is done and over here we want in put no we want interact I spelled that all wrong interact interact just a quick note if you don't have interact coming up when you type it in uh, you first have to go up to your project settings and if your project settings are not showing up, up, up in the tab there you can go to edit and uh, project settings and then click on input and then under your action mappings you've got like jump reset VR and then I've set up an interact so all you have to do in order to do that if I delete this one so all you have to do is click plus button on there rename that to interact and then you want to find whatever key you want your interact key to be so on the keyboard i'm going to go with the f key so when they press f it interacts with objects whatever you set it to do in this case it's going to be a door and i'm going to put a second one in for the gamepad um face bottom or face face bottom so when the player presses the well it's the x on the playstation controller i think it's the a on the um xbox controller i'm not sure um then that's that's what it'll do jump is also face bottom button um button bottom even but i'd rather change that actually to it doesn't matter i mean when you're in this spot the door box the trigger box for the door it'll it'll do the other button it won't jump but um i like to change this one anyway to go right anyway so that's how you set up an interact you just create a new one there and do what i just did in it was and then get back to the tutorial event input interact pressed we wanted to play and um in fact what we want to do is flip flop this flip flop so leave that there put that there and we want the b to go into the reverse happy days press play now go into the box oh, i've done that again I always do that so i got the text go the wrong way around <laughs> that's a weird noise came up my throat right then all right so press f it opens up nice press f closes and you can toggle them at any point during this process and it will open and close nice so let's just change over here put text click out select our text and then go to visible click that off so by default it's not visible and then when we walk up to it it is visible and we will open and close the doors happy days that's it um yeah that's about it really um if, uh yeah well well yeah that's it <laughs> i don't know what else to say there's our doors doors work press f they open up go through press f they close excellent right happy days i'm out of here uh see you in the next one where we will be looking at slidey doors rather than rotating doors which is basically the same thing except you've manipulated in the location of the oh what we do i don't want to be looking there i hate my mouse sorry um we don't, instead of rotating the doors we want to be sliding them using the rotate um the location of the i think it's the z no, x-axis probably um no i think it's the y-axis so manipulating the y-axis rather than the z rotation anyway i'll show you that just in case you're not sure yourself uh, in the next video, I'm going, I'm rabbiting on. Bye.